All right, so here we're solving for x, and it looks like we have this compound fraction, a complex fraction here with lots of different terms, but we can break this down. The first thing I would, I would mention is that in this, the, this fraction right here, we have a numerator. So I'm going to draw, redraw this line nice and heavy here. And I know the numerator is all in parentheses. It's one uh, collection of terms that I have to deal with first. And the same is true in the denominator. So when I look at this, I'm, I'm going to draw this on the side here, I see some numerator, I'll say n, divided by some denominator d, and what I get is 4. That, this is what I'm seeing in my head over here. So that's true. If n divided by d is 4, that also means that, well, d times 4 would equal n. It doesn't matter how complex the numerators or denominators are. This relationship exists where if you divide two numbers, then in this case n divided by d, if n divided by d is 4, then 4 times d is n. This is always true. So here, except when d is 0, excuse me, um, here we can say, all right, well, that means our numerator x plus x plus 1 over 4 has to equal the product of 4 and this denominator here, x minus x plus 1 over 4 times 4. And already this is looking a lot more manageable. So I notice on the right hand side here I could distribute 4. 4 times x is 4x. And then 4 divided by 4 is 1, so it's just minus x minus 1. I distributed that negative sign. On the left here we still have a denominator of 4, but we can get rid of that by multiplying everything by 4. This time I'll have to multiply everything on both sides by 4. Um, I want to keep everything balanced. So 4 times x is 4x. Then it's plus x plus 1. Again, all that's happening here is we're dividing. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And that's going to equal 16x minus 4x minus 4. And this is now looking even more manageable. This is exciting. 4x plus x is 5x plus 1. Over here we have 16x minus 4x is 12x minus 4. And I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides, and I get um, 12 minus 5, which is 7x. 12x minus 5x, which is 7x. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. 7x equals 5, and x would equal 5 divided by 7. And that's our answer. All right, hope this helped.